Oh, uh, Mr. Code, are you in there? Yeah, Judge, what's up? Well, Covadaster's been running more tests on that crystal, and... Yo, what's up? Anything interesting? Uh, well, yeah... What? Okay, I'm just going to ask, what the hell are you doing? What, just because I have a sudden propensity to juggle dangerous items, that's out of the norm? Well, kind of, yes. Fine. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Guess we'll have to patch that up later. <laughs> okay, you're clearly going insane. More so than usual. Anyway, latest scans of that crystal reported it's pretty much lost all of its psychic energy. <laughs> well, good then. There's nothing to worry about. No, because Kovidasser sends that aura around you grow much larger in terms of energy. I'm sure that's just my glowing personality. You're putting yourself at risk. Think about your mental and physical health. Okay, okay, look, how about this? I'll allow Comodaster to perform a complete psychosomatic scan on me when I sleep, and we can all rest easier. Savvy? That would be good, yes. Very well. Now, if you'll excuse me, the comics await. Friends Forever number 12 stars Pinky and Twilight actually tackling a rather serious issue, that being a disturbingly realistic portrayal of addiction. We've all seen Pinky guzzle down countless pastries and treats over the years, yet seems to have a good handle over her sweet ingestion. Until today, once again, pushing the limits of her sanity, which admittedly is always enjoyable. The annual snack cart invasion enters Ponyville, and Pinky asks Twilight for help to avoid the siren call of a particular stand called the Phenomenons and their uber delicious pastry creating an insatiable craving for Pinky. I love the pacing and the energy of this comic, it's a moderately fast but good flowing read. Keeping up with the exuberant party mare, it literally bouncing from panel to panel. Another one of the main strengths of this comic is its dynamic visuals. The visual gags are not only fun, but do a fantastic job montaging the insanity of keeping Piggy's obsession under control. Like the board game layout, the Dr. Seuss style machine, even the Pac-Man reference push the story forward in unique ways, and I love it. The humor is also great, again from the visuals of Piggy going absolutely crazy, the downright weird and creepy facial expressions, some good breaking the fourth wall jokes, and the chemistry and dialogue between Piggy and Twilight is so much fun. See Twilight trying to break through to the pink party pony. Speaking of the dialogue though, one minor problem is that while Pinky was captured rather well, some of Twilight's dialogue is a little stilted, making her at times sound more like season one unsocial wise Twilight. Anyway, we see the Alicorn Princess administer one treatment after another, all of them having no effect. And though the story is ridiculously over the top, overall this depicts a realistic vision of a victim of addiction. Pinky's willpower is constantly dominated over her need for the tasty treat, living in denial of her obsession and even going through the pain of withdrawal. Compare this to say drug addiction where your body hungers for the supplement. It's like a creature deep inside you that constantly grows, slowly taking hold over your body, thinking you're in control when the truth is denial is gradually killing you. Though we're just dealing with pastries here, this is a surprisingly informative look into the world of addiction for younger audiences. It's interesting how even Twilight even indulges in the delicious treat, which doesn't feel forced at all and something that the natural researcher in the purple alicorn would do, understanding the problem. What I liked about the resolution is, like any real addiction, the victim herself overcame the problem, and not just Twilight's intervention. Friends will be there to help you overcome your problems, but they can only do so much before your own will has to make the steps to recovery. But I can only show you the door. You're the one that has to walk through it. And we see Pinky going through the withdrawal, struggling not to eat, and it's both entertaining and hard to watch, seeing her go from mad obsession to complete and total breakthrough in a way that feels organic to her character. Being the element of laughter, her life goal wanting to make Pony smile, and thus lift Twilight's spirits from her failure, overcame her need for the phenomenons, thus finally breaking the habit. French Forever number 12 overall is a great comic. You got a lot of funny humor and visual gags, despite uh, some wooden dialogue, there's some great chemistry between Pinky and Twilight, and an interesting, realistic look into the world of addiction anyone can learn from. That's it for today, guys. Until next time, MC out! <laughs>